girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, okay. So this is going to be kind of like Real Housewife of Orange County, but it involves other people as well. So it's a little bit of everything because I think Bravo or I don't know if this is Bravo or Watch What Happens Live or Andy Cohen. I don't know. Like someone is getting exposed at this point. You know, I don't know if they're going to be happy about it. And it might involve or the fans think that it's also involving uh, like Teresa Judah is from the Real House of New Jersey somehow. So this is going to be interesting. So um, the other day, Vicky Gumbelson and Shannon Bedore were on Watch What Happens Live, you know? And one of the things that really stuck on everyone's mind was that uh, they decided to put as the bartender, the, um, the manager of The Quiet Woman. Now, if you're a fan of Orange County, you know what The Quiet Woman is. It's basically the restaurant where all the shit goes down all the time, right? And one of the big things that happened during this period is, you know, they basically trash Kelly Dodd, right? They say uh, the manager himself said that Kelly Dodd was a very demanding person, that she was always demanding attention, that she was always kind of like rude, you know? Uh, and I mean, he spilled all the tea, you know, and everyone was like, "Ooh, wow, wow, ooh," you know, um, to the point that, of course, you know, that Kelly Dodd was going to like reply somehow, you know, and and have an opinions, and um, she did right away. Now it was it was quite weird. Why will someone flew? A manager of a restaurant all the way from Orange County to New York, you know. So according to Kelly Dodd, actually Shannon Bedore was the one who flew him just to be there, just to trash Kelly Dodd. Like everything was planned according to Kelly Dodd, okay. So this is what Kelly had to say. Shame on you, Julius. I don't deserve to be disparaged in this way. I have brought countless people to the restaurant over the years and never asked for anything more than a table to sit down and eat and drink. I have great relationships with the staff. I have no idea why you'd say that about me. It's disheartening, disappointing, and unfair. It was never in the printer liar. Yeah, but I guess you're entitled to your own opinion, okay? And the next day, she goes on on, the, on her YouTube channel with Rick and basically blames everything on Shannon Bedore, saying that Shannon Bedore is boring, that she needed a storyline, that she needed to fly Julius all the way over there to do that. Now, what is this about the prompter and how is this connected to Teresa Judice from The Real Housewife of New Jersey? This is crazy. So... After Wajo Happens Live, you know, Kelly was very upset. Kelly was reaching out to everyone. And Vicky Gumbelson decided to do a video uh, or a live or something. I don't know. Uh, and she was right there with Shannon Bedore and with Julius, the manager of The Quiet Woman. And she basically says, like, like why did you say that? Like, blah, blah, blah. You know, now Julius said that everything that he said is not what he really thinks of Kelly, but it was on a prompter and that he was asked to read from the prompter, you know? So he did. Basically kind of like saying, this is like Watch What Happens Live. This is Andy Cohen or whoever is behind this. You know, they made me talk shit about you. So for some reason, Kelly is saying that that is not true, that that is fake, that there is no prompter. Who knows? However, a lot of people start making a lot of connections because lately there has been a spare campaign, a smear campaign, I'm sorry, against Teresa Judice, where every single person who came to the show for, I'm not kidding you, like two months, you know, will be asked about what do you think about Teresa Judice and Louis Rellas? And every single person will 
talk shit about Teresa Judice or Luis Relas or say I'm team Melissa or say, you know, uh, he's crazy or, or whatever, you know, like always against them. And it was in every single episode. It was like crazy, you know. So now fans are, you know, attacking Watch What Happens Live, saying that either Andy Cohen or someone in the team is creating this narrative and putting on the prompters so all the guests have to read what they want them to say and that they want them to go against Teresa Judice. You know, I mean, look, I, I, I was like, you know, it's a big change from one topic to another, but it kind of like makes sense. Now, I don't know if Vicky knew what she was doing by exposing this information because, girl, Vicky, you are trying to get back onto your show. Like you are, you really, really want to go back to the Real House of Orange County. Do you think that, you know, putting the secrets of Watch What Happens Live or Andy Cohen out there is going to help you do that? Come on, Vicky. You're smarter than that. Okay. You have a whole, you know, company. You are, you should be smarter than that, that to put that out there. Now, again, it's quite weird to me that Kelly, who could have said, Fuck you, Andy. You know, you're a liar. You are trying to do this to me. Uh, what happens live? You're disgusting. She didn't say any of that. And she literally still blaming on Julius. And she says there was no prompter. You are a liar. So who is right and who is wrong in this situation? You know, it create like it's it's actually kind of crazy if you think about it. Um one one's conspiracy says here, oh, well, Watch What Happens Life is telling everyone what they have to say, which I could believe that because I have been a guest on, you know, the audience and, you know, those questions from the audience, they are not questions from the audience. You know, they gave you the questions that you have to ask. So I could believe that they're putting their own agenda or, or putting like these people to say whatever they want to say to create certain narrative out there. But then Kelly Dodd not blaming what happens live. It really threw me off because she really hates Andy Cohen. So you know what I mean? Like I got like I got a little bit like I don't know. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this situation. Who you think is right here or, or is wrong or what is going on? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real House of Orange County or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Remember, I have a new podcast. It's called Let's Talk About This Mess with the Real Andy of Beret Hills, dropping episodes every Monday with very special guests and very very exclusive tea. Check it out. It's on Patreon. The link is on the description below and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out, walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes this is for you liquid iv will hydrate you twice as fast as water super convenient little packs that you can take anywhere they have all these amazing flavors green apple wild berry lemon lime uh, the list goes on and on and on so if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now.